Uh, like she said, I'm starting my uh, instructional leadership program at Jacksonville State, and so the first thing that I was tasked with is an action research plan. Um, so kind of looking at some, some of our policies that we're doing and seeing what we can change and implement some new stuff. Um, and per Dr. Leverett's request, um, we're going over school-wide tardy policies. Now, um, with the school-wide tardy policy, the first thing you have to look at is where we're doing it at. So it's obviously going to be here. Um, our demographics are 849 students currently. Um, our male to female ratio is uh, 54 to 46% with 92% of those students being minorities and 65% um, economically disadvantaged. Um, this is a Title I school as well, so an urban setting, Title I school. So our current tardy policy is uh, three tardies with, uh, you will get one half day of ISS, six tardies you will get one full day of ISS, and nine tardies you will get two full days of ISS, and every tardy that follows you will get an additional day of ISS. Um, and so our problem currently that we're facing is that we recorded 3,063 tardies per quarter one um, of this school year, and that does not include this quarter afterwards. So um, that's obviously a lot of tardies for 849 students, um, and 52% of these are in between classes, so class change tardies. Now we obviously can't control the before school tardies as much, so we're gonna only really be focusing on in between class changes and what we can do to make sure that students are on time um, because that is 5.49 average per student which again that's a lot um, and so we're trying to maximize the amount of not only instructional time but the actual learning time that students are getting in the class because there is a big difference um, and so my hypothesis is that 9th through 12th grade students in semester 2 will show decreased rates of tardiness in comparison to semester 1. Um, so next semester we will be implementing these changes and hopefully we will see decreased rates as we implement a staggered implementation of these new policies. Um, and to, here's some working definitions for those that don't know. Tardy just means uh, delayed beyond the expected time. Um, the implementation is just making something active, so these new policies that were uh, going to be implementing and then retention is the act of retaining and hopefully with retention we're making sure that these policies stick that's kind of the, the plan is to make sure these policies are not only effective but they're actually um, causing positive changes for our students so the target subjects obviously the 9th and 12th grade students um, my first phase of this actually targets the teachers so making sure that we get your opinions on the policies and the climate of the current policies versus the new policies and taking into consideration your assessment of what's going on. Um, and then obviously the school administrators uh, laying out a foundation for additional future research and future action on tardies if this is not successful, right? Um, so my overview of the literature that was uh, read, I had to do a literature review, this long paper, right? and uh, looked at a lot of things on tardies. There's actually not a whole lot of literature on tardies. It's more focused on absence because that's what's tied to funding and schools right now. Um, so tardies is kind of by the wayside, but so this is kind of a new, almost a new research, um, at least as far as I can tell. But what I did find was this uh, really uh, good graphic um, from Gottfried. And again, making sure that we don't, we understand that the allocated instruction time is not all that the students are learning. They're not learning the entire time that they're in your class. Um, so you have to understand that we're focusing on the actual learning time with, when they're engaged. And so minimizing tardies, it doesn't affect the allocated instruction time, it affects the actual learning time based on when they're in your class. Um, and so a big thing that uh, the 2016 paper that I was looking at states is that not only does tardies affect the student that is tardy, but it also affects the academic achievement of students around the students that are tardy and so that's why it's super important that we minimize this number um, moving forward and so here's our action plan and timeline um, the first component uh, component will be um, starting net this month later this month I'll be sending you out a teacher survey um, and that will be evaluating your teacher opinions on both the tardy policy current and then what we talk about today moving forward about the new tardy policy and just looking at uh, any additional changes we could implement and if, if you guys have any feedback to give me during this research plan. Um, and then the component two will be a staggered implementation. And so we will, each month of the next semester, we will kind of add to the TARDI policy. That way it gives me time to evaluate the effectiveness of each um, additional policy that we're adding to it, okay? And so you're probably thinking, well, what is the policy? So this is the, uh, the plan that I have uh, suggested. 
And it starts with uh, what we've done before in terms of lockout. So teachers will have to be a big vital role of this because you will be locking students out of your classroom. And I know some, how some teachers feel about that because you know locking students out of your classroom may be hard to do. But again, we're trying to uh, decrease that negative behavior of them continuing to show up late and thinking that it's okay because it's not. So um, the first policy will be in February. We'll, we will begin lockouts for a month, um, and then. The policy two, we will begin tardy sweeps in March. So not only will you be locking out, then we'll be locking out and doing tardy sweeps, um, where the security will be walking around and collecting those kids up. Um, and then policy three, we'll be adding in a positive incentive for having no tardies for every week. And um, this is definitely where I'll be looking at some suggestions. We had talked about maybe doing some movies um, for kids, or maybe doing like a breakfast day for kids, kind of how they do for like student of the month. Um, and, and I would love to have your feedback when I send out those policy about any other additional incentives that we could use for making sure that we get kids in class on time, in between classes. Um, and then additionally, instead of doing the 369 policy, which we were doing, um, changing it to make it more simple for administrators where if they get five tardies, which is one full week, they will get one day of ISS. And if they have 10 tardies, they will have three days of ISS plus a parent conference that same week again just to make sure that the parent is also aware of uh, their student being continually late to class every day um, are there any questions about